it's me, Athena. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Athena Beth Black, and for the last 10 plus years, I have been studying and practicing various forms of witchcraft, Wicca, paganism, and all that good stuff. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my treasures that I found today at Michael's. So while I was out shopping, I took a lot of really short little videos kind of showing you some of what was there and it dawned on me that if you live in a place where maybe you don't have a witchy store or you don't feel comfortable shopping at a witchy, witchy store, maybe you're in the closet, go to Michael's or a craft type store. With only a few exceptions, I think you could pretty much find most anything you would need for some witchcraft or an altar. Maybe you don't have a witchy shop near you. Maybe you don't feel comfortable going in to a witchy shop. Maybe you like to save a little bit of money and not fatten the pockets of Jeff Bezos and uh, Amazon. Try craft stores. Try thrift stores. There's a crazy noise happening right now. What do you hear? What is it? Check out your craft store. You will find some of the same things that you might find in a witchy place for a lot less. Since these items don't have a pentagram on them, they might be half the price or even a quarter of the price of, of something else. Now, here's something I do want to say. I actually love adore witchy stores and I always would prefer to buy things such as occult books with books about witchcraft um any tarot cards I prefer to buy those things in my witchy store anytime I go to my little witchy store which it's been over a year um I always purchase something most of my spell powders and oils I, all of that comes from witchy stores but when it comes to other things, like the things I'm going to show you in a moment, check out Michael's or other craft stores. You are so cute. Let's see what we have here. Glass jars. My number one way to accumulate plenty of glass jars is from buying things that come in glass. Artificial sweetener, I, I use liquid stevia that stevia stevia i use liquid stevia that comes in a glass glass bottle or amber bottle um jellies basically anything that you could buy in plastic it's nice to look and see if there's a jarred version nearby all that said i bought some glass a couple glass jars today the first one is this one my goal i'm gonna put vinegar in this I also might look to see if I have any glass stoppers similar to similar to this one. I would love to see if I could find something to replace the cork, but honestly, I love corks. Corks are the bomb. As mentioned, I'm going to put vinegar in this. Maybe I'll try out the Four Thieves vinegar recipe and use that. I will pull out the receipt and try to let you know prices. I do know that these little glass things were 90, 99 cents. I bought them with the hopes that they will fit into this. This is a candle holder that I bought at the thrift store long ago. Please fit. Oh, it's perfect. Finally, after all this time, I found little glass votive holders that fit. Hallelujah. I'm soon to put together my summer solstice altar and this always has a little place on that and I haven't been able to find a good fit. I will say it's not a perfect fit, but it's good enough for me. Yay! Those were the only glass purchases I made today. Throughout this video, if I remember, I'm going to pop in some of the footage from my shopping trip. I 
walked in the front door of Michael's, I saw on display some candle making materials. If you watched my video from the fall about candles and reusing candle material, and I, I basically said I need to just commit to buying a few permanent items so that I can make more candles. I will link that video up here, here, below, somewhere. This is an empty candle container without a candle because it's already, it's ready for me to add my own candle. I liked the gold. I liked what I'm seeing as a sunny, a sunshiny type of image. They had yellow beeswax. I'm going to make myself a summer solstice candle. So I will make it, I will infuse it with magical intentions. I didn't buy the scent because I have so many essential oils. I'll do a little more research and see if it's safe to put some essential oils in here for scenting this beeswax. I'm thinking if I do, I'm going to of course be putting like lemon and orange maybe even some cinnamon because I love cinnamon and the fieriness of cinnamon. It's the best. Maybe that can be a future video. I'm planning on down the road. I'd like to possibly consider making a video about the candle making process. We'll see. No promises. Next. This was such a, such an impulse buy, but I, I had to. I've been using a planner that I think I've shown you before. I use it mainly for work. But I put a little witchiness in there sometimes. But I saw this. I, I could not pass this by. And let me show you why. This is called the 18 month celestial spiral planner. And here is what the front looks like. And the back. Oh wait, look at this. How to use this planner. It's all talking about moon phases. And it's talking about natural seasons, retrogrades, astrological seasons. This is on the inside. This starts in July, so next month. My little happy planner ends in December. I'm not sure. This may just be the one I use at home. I just literally don't need two planners, you know? This is cool, what to expect from the planets when in retrograde, July 2021 to December 2022. It's broken down. Look at this, intentions for the year. Isn't that cool? Are these stickers? Yeah, you know, these little stickers you can put. So I'm pretty sure there's a cicada right out on the other side of this, because I keep hearing it. Here's, oh, oh my God. Look at the sticker page. Look at the bottom too. Tarot reading. <clears throat> Tarot reading and notes. It's got all the signs. Then there's new moon intentions, full moon releases. This was this was made for me. By the way, this was the only one there. There were no others. So yes, it was made for me. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. These are all stickers. I think this was like $29 or so. Look at this little packet, this little um, pocket in here that you can keep things in. It's so amazing. The stars at your birth. Okay, well, I already actually know all this stuff, but here you go anyway. It's locked. Which me, boo? I'm recording a video. I know, but I still want to well, you don't get to. Oh, Stop, boo boo. Isn't that cool? Breaks it down week to week. You know how planners work. Virgo. So on and so on. I love that they have every single moon phase on there. That's incredible. So it has this kind of thing like the new moon in Leo. A lot of pages of notes, blank paper. I'm just gonna try it out and see how, see, see how it works. I don't wanna waste my money, but I just could not, I could not pass it up. So the, I'm gonna tell you something. The main reason I went was for this. This is what I use for every day 
for my necklaces. My last one I've had for years just recently broke. So um, I had to use these and I hate how these things get tangled up. I literally walked in just for these and then I walked out $170 later. Yeah, there's a lot there. I'm going to say I took a lot of video of crystals. had a good sale going on at Michael's for crystals right now. They were literally, all of them were half off and that made things that were normally kind of expensive, very affordable. They also had a new section with larger stones that were strung, like you could use, make necklaces out of. I will include some of that footage here. So I left with purchasing quite a few of those things. I bought these Labradorite stones. Again, they could be a necklace, but yeah, these are like worry stones. And for $6, I got that many. Here's a normal worry stone that by itself was probably three or $4 when I bought it back at a crystal place. But instead of buying it at a crystal store, you buy things like this and you can keep them, you can share them. These are just so beautiful. Originally like $12.95, I got it for six bucks. I settled on this black Labradorite. These are beautiful. You can't see the correct flash because there's too much um, light shining right now on us, but these have a gorgeous, gorgeous flash to them that made me love these and then I got rhyolite I don't think I have any rhyolite in my life and I looked it up I'll have to do more research on the meaning of it but it was calling to me and I had to answer especially since it was only six dollars for this so oh my gosh they were actually 552 so they were less than I said these are crystal clear chunks I buy these a lot. These are really great for crystal grids. They're literally just chunks of crystal. And some of them come to a type, a sort of point. So I use, I use these as mentioned when I set up a crystal grid. I got these for, with the discount or with the, yeah, the, with the sale, $3.39. I got two sets of those. These amethyst banded amethyst pieces were originally $5.99. I got them for $2.54. Bought these also to use in spell work. Some of these are just they're, they're so gorgeous and 
I love them. Then they had these cool sets. These were very expensive originally before the sale. These were $12.99, half off, of course. So this was $5.52. Purple Adventurine. Some people say Adventurine, but I've also heard Adventurine. Whatever. I love that they're all different sizes. Now these are faceted also, so they have a little sparkle to them. I don't have any purple aventurine, whatever. I don't have any of this, so yay to that. If you haven't figured it out yet, you probably are starting to suspect. I love Labradorite, so I got a Labradorite one also. This one is also faceted, I believe. Let me see, yeah, yeah. And adding an extra sparkle. These are freaking deliciously gorgeous. Same price, $12.99, I got it for like $5.52 or whatever I just said a second ago. This one was just impulsive. I don't need it. I adore it. This is Amazonite. It was calling to me and it felt so freaking good in my hand and I couldn't talk myself out of it. This is also one of my most favorite stones. And I wanted it and it feels good to hold it, which is weird because it's got Michael's funk all over it. I didn't show you this one, Rhodonite. That same. This is another one I've always loved. They're just so beautiful. So here's the thing. When I go to the beach, last year we did this and we're gonna do it again this year, I think. Um, I took all of my crafting materials with the beads, all my beading stuff, and we sat around and we made necklaces, not necklaces, we made bracelets. One of my sons, his girlfriend went with us and she made me a bracelet. It was so special. And it was just so fun to just sit and go through. And so I'm replenishing my beads and I think it's gonna be amazing. One of the last things I got in the beading section, uh, they sell these great little pendants and they had this whole section. And again, I'll, I'll insert little parts here, but it was called Positive Intentions. And normally I don't really get into this, but I like that, so I got it. This chakra pendant was originally six bucks. I got it for five dollars, five oh nine. I looked at it to see if it was like just colored plastic or something, and I could feel and see the lines where these different stones were put together. And so, you know, for five bucks, I I'm, I'm down. These are also in the beading area but I had to replace some of these. I use these things all the time. Now, these, they're again, little glass jars. They have little corks with um, a little loop thing on it that you can attach to a chain, carry around. I got this one and then this shape. I thought this shape was really cool. It really reminds me of the Harry Potter Liquid Luck shape. I think this would be perfect for carrying a little bit of oil somewhere. Again, I like the convenience of these tiny things that you could wear on a chain in your shirt and no one would know it. Now, I would be very careful with these things because very easily the top could come off, you know, could open and then you got a problem. But I'm gonna, I'm going to assume that if you are doing, using things like this, that you know to be careful right one section where i was showing you how in a pinch there were shells seashells that you could use on an altar to represent water if you can't get to a beach and gather your own shells which you know i have brought home so many shells and ocean water and sand but again if you don't have access it's a great place to go and they had that giant conch shell up there and little ones and near the shells there were rocks and one of the ones that was lower down it i was looking for very smooth river rocks and it was making me remember and this is a gift by the way for my kid who actually was from egypt 
but it was reminding me of my runes that I made forever ago. These were rocks like that. They were just flat river rocks and I had made witchy runes, God, probably like six years ago now. They look pretty good actually for a non-artistic person. Not bad. But yeah, you get yourself some river rocks, some flat polished type of rocks that are sold for pretty cheap because they're just sold as filler to put in things. Anyway, that is my Michael's haul and also how you can set up an altar or fill your witchy coffers without actually having to order some like Wic Wicca starter kit on Amazon or going to a specialty store and paying or way more than you have to. If you're on a budget, this is a great way to get your collection going, your witchy bits and bubbles. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment leave me a comment i would love to hear where are some uncommon places that you have found some of your favorite witchy materials thrift stores are my favorite favorite but i don't have a current thrift store haul right now so maybe i'll do one of those one of these days you never know with thrift thrift stores that'll be a that'll be a different video thanks again be well peace <laughs>